Hello and welcome back to my gaming channel and to my series on My Summer Car. So I mentioned previously that in this episode I'd be going over some radiator problems, so let's jump right in. Uh, first off, I just have my coolant hovering over for a second there, just so we can get a visual on what the radiator coolant level is. And then we're going to take her out for a spin. Um, so that was about, what, like half full? Uh, oops. And remember, I try to keep my coolant levels at full all the time. Um, so here at this intersection, I'm only about halfway to temperature. Uh, however, I did have a pretty nasty spill on the way out there, <laughs> which I got pretty lucky on. But I also confirmed it did give my engine some time to cool down. So here we are on the highway, and I'm tacking this thing up really high just to try and overheat it and stress it as much as possible. Uh, burn some of that coolant out of there quicker than it usually would. I also did go around and check and make sure all of the radiator hoses are tightened all the way. So this is just... The only th variable that we're testing here is that it's half full, and there we go, the engine catches fire. So we burn through all that coolant, or um, the stock radiator, which is pretty shitty, just didn't have enough to, uh, like enough pump power, I guess you could say, to keep it cool at such a high RPM. So as you can see here, that didn't cause the crash. I was going to crash and it caught fire before the crash. The crash didn't cause the fire either. It it caught fire before the crash and usually what you'll see after this if you try to start the car it won't start. So for my next experiment here I'm going around and loosening up all of the radiator hoses to simulate a radiator leak. And then I drove it around for a little bit and I got kind of bored and also just in the interest of keeping the test environment as controlled as possible I went ahead and brought it on home and then tacked it up till this happens. Sometimes this indicates a radiator leak especially if you're driving around and you see a bunch of that in your face. Sometimes it's just smoke from the heat which I believe is what it was in this case. And it took a considerably shorter period of time to overheat with that leak in there. So the next here I wanted to test what would happen if I ran the car with no coolant in the radiator at all. One thing I immediately noticed was that the temperature gauge always reads zero when you do this. I also tested this by removing one of the radiator hoses completely to the exact same results. So here my indicator light came on, warning me that there is an issue with the engine, in this case the heat, although the temperature gauge still has not risen. And there's the fire. So then my next step here, um, I just wanted to start a fire in a controlled environment because I want to look at the damage report afterwards, and I'll talk about that in a second. So the engine's dead now, won't start. Um, I actually found one of my pistons fell out of the bottom of the motor. I had never seen that before, that was pretty funny. So I'm going to save my game here, and then I'm going to go to the uh, MSC editor, which I'll be using periodically. I don't like to use it a whole lot, uh, like for cheating and stuff, but for doing stuff like this I think it's interesting, uh, helpful, educative. So here we can see there's four damaged parts. So I go through and I find, look, my head gasket, it says that it's damaged. Uh, there's also ways, there's a couple ways you can see in-game uh, some items, the skin will change on the item depending on how damaged it is. 
And then here I'm just looking at my first and my fourth pistons, which were also damaged. I, I don't know what the other damage part was, I never figured it out, but this is still a really cool tool that you can use if you ever need to figure out something like that. Um, but that's really all I wanted to cover here. So check out my next video when I'll be talking all about oil problems, and I'm definitely going to do one uh, either between now and then, or after that one, about uh, how you can access your save files, because that's actually something that's really cool. I found out recently that it really entirely changed the game for me. Um, the fact that there's only one save file really, really... Uh, frustrated me a lot as I'm sure it does with many other players so uh, the ability to basically have as many save files as you want to is very awesome so as always please leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned